are you craving food? It may be sugar, it may be savoury, doesn't really matter what it is, it's the craving part that's important. <clears throat> and you could be craving that food for a very specific reason. And you overeat and overdrink and do all of these things. And really what it's about is your body is craving energy fast. And that's because it's triggering a subconscious stress response inside. And it could be doing it all of the time. Because most of our thinking is subconscious. Over 95% of it is subconscious. So if we're subconsciously, automatically in a triggered stress response all the time, well then our body is looking for energy all the time to be ready for fight or flight. It doesn't matter whether we're sitting watching TV or whether we're out walking or whether we're working hard, we'll still be triggering the stress response subconsciously and we'll still be craving energy. Energy to help us to fight and flight. And it's, it, I, was, I was working on a, the reason I'm talking about this today is because I was working last night on putting together the finishing touches to a course that I'm doing. And my take on food cravings is that calm the stressor, calm the parts of the body that are triggering that stress response. And then you can absolutely retune the food craving because it can become an automatic habit craving the same food or eating it. And you may say, well, I am a devil for chocolate. But big sugar has actually got, got that. Big sugar knows that people crave the energy fast. And so they create lovely, tasty, savory bars that exploit that, that say, here, look, here's how you can get that energy fast. Take this, eat this, eat that. And then we get addicted to that sugar. Some people call sugar the, the, the what should we say, the official or the, um, the lawful drug of choice. Because it is that. It is, it is literally a drug when you, you can get addicted to it. But here's the thing. It's down to this, oh, well, I mean, naturally, we do have an, a, a sort of a, a built-in natural grow or love for, for sweetness, for, for that lovely sweet taste. But we get that naturally from fruit off trees. We don't need a chocolate bar. We don't need processed sugar. And that processed sugar is... Okay, yes, it gives you that boost fast, but it actually causes havoc inside your body. It actually causes more of a stress response in there because then your body has to deal with all of this excess sugar and insulin then is pumped all over the place and it knocks us insulin resistant eventually because our insulin gets so used to pump, 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 pump that it, it just goes all over the place. Calm the stress response calm down that automatic subconscious stress state that's going on within you and you will calm your sugar craving or your food craving. It may not just be sugar, but there's another thing that people don't think about and that is water. We're over 70% 70 water and when we're thirsty, again, it could be because we're overstressed, we're, over, we're dehydrated, we need to be drinking one and a half to two liters of water a day. The body doesn't know the difference or we don't know the difference when the body asks for food or sugar or, or water. We don't know that it's the same craving it puts out. And sometimes if we just drank a little bit of water, sip, swivel, swallow and rehydrate our body or drank more water in our day, we wouldn't crave as much food. That might sound crazy to you, but that's actually a fact water could be the issue. So there's two things. Calm the stress response, drink water. Two things that can help us deal with food cravings and believe in ourselves, not trigger the stress response anymore. Then we can deal with the habit that the food, that the, the craving may have become, may have become an automatic habit. So we retune that as well. So I'm just going to give you one round of tomb ready and tapping to help you calm the stress response that little bit first. And then we'll move on from there. Take off my glasses. This is a different type of tapping if you're used to tapping. Place your hands on your solar plexus. Take a breath. And say this statement or something similar to this statement. Even though I crave sugar, even though I'm addicted to chocolate, even though I seem to just want to eat all the time. Right now, I truly am calm. 
and say that again with your hands on your solar plexus even though i crave sugar i feel addicted to chocolate addicted to sugary drinks addicted to alcohol right now i know that's because i'm stressed and i truly choose to be calm even though i have an addiction to sugary foods sugary drinks i know it's because of a subconsciously triggered stress response maybe even consciously triggered stress response right now i truly am calm now clump the fingers of one hand and tap the little finger side of the other hand even though i tend to crave sugary foods right now i truly am calm switch it over to the other side even though i crave sugary foods right now i truly am calm come under the nose crease of the chin even though i crave sugary foods right now i truly am calm switch that over even though i crave sugary foods i crave food full stop even though i feel addicted to certain foods name them i don't seem to be able to leave it right now i truly am calm come to the inner eye under the collarbone even though i feel addicted to sugary foods or addicted to any food i crave food all the time right now i truly am calm switch that over even though i feel i am addicted to sugary foods right now i truly am calm now we're going to change the script a little bit we're just going to drop the first part go out to the outer eye under the ribs or under the breast sorry still on the lower ribs i truly am calm switch that over I truly am calm. Slide out in front of the ear, little finger and thumb. I truly am calm. Switch it over. I truly am calm. It's the little finger and just in front of the ear. And then you're going to come to the upper outer eye brow and the middle finger and thumb. I truly am calm and switch that over. I truly am calm. Come under the eye, come under the arm. I truly am calm. And then switch that. I truly am calm. Crease of the nose, outer torso. I truly am calm. Switch it over. I truly am calm. Come under the nose, crease of the chin. I truly am calm. And switch that. I truly am calm. And come back to the karate chop point. Check into how you're feeling right now. I truly am calm. That's just one round of two meridian tapping. Dealing with food cravings is, is, is a much bigger picture, it, but it has latest research from Peter Stapleton, a psychologist and tapping coach in Australia. She's done tapping courses and, and um, worked with people using fMRI scans. And with an eight week program online, she had, they, the people have managed, those doing the program, have managed to retune their food cravings with lasting effect two years later the food craving hasn't come back and their diet has changed and their lifestyle has changed as a result so tapping does work for food cravings absolutely and this is just one round of two meridian tapping it's like an advanced form of of eft tapping i'm not going to get into all of that right now but it works put your hands back on your solar plexus When we calm our stress response, 
when we retune the issues that are causing that stress response in the first place, we calm the reason for craving in the food. Because all we're doing is trying to emotionally hold back. We're trying to feed the emotion that wasn't resolved in the first place. We're trying to resolve it with food, basically. We're trying to be our own best friend by eating. The food has become an emotional attachment. It has become the, the person that we needed. So now we become that person. That's what I do. That's what I do in, in the Food Craving Programme. Help you to do that, to go back, resolve the issues, calm the stressors, and retune the whole system. But that's that's besides the point. I just thought I'd come on this morning and say, if you're craving food, it's because you're stressed. And there's a lot of stress out there right now. It also could be because you're dehydrated or because you're not sleeping, but all of that normally works because you're stressed. <laughs> so get tapping, get calming down that stress response and see how you go from there. Have a fabulous Tuesday and get outside, get some daylight. Sunlight is, is dimming, they we're past the equinox now. So we're heading right down into the darker days. And so it's vital to get outside any, in any daylight that you can, get outside and get exposed to the daylight. Happy Tuesday.